Let your girl do your talking for you. Let your girl do your talking for you. Let your girl do your talking for you. Oh, now I'm a Go call Ice. You're a Yes. Yeah. Jamaican, right? You're not Yeah. All right? No, we don't disrespect other races around here. Oh, yeah, she just did. Okay, she did, homie. She just did. She ain't a homie, dog. You're not but Nothing else, homie. That's my lady, dog. That's my I have a mind and I used to the difference. I didn't run up on her. I just asked her a question, run homie. Up run, run up on me. Keep letting your girl talk. You into your problem. Valley, homie. Watch how fast I find you. You don't know who you talking to. What's cracking? Don't talk like that. You don't even know who you talking to. You don't know who you talking to, homie. Who you gonna find? You don't know who you're talking to. Who you gonna find? Just, 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 just go that way, dog. Who you gonna find? I'm right here. Keep talking. Keep talking. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Nada, right? what? You'll see. Yeah, so much for that alliance, right? You clearly saw, and and I wanna I wanna note this, right? The guy that she was with, he was trying to do his best to, you know, defuse the situation. He was. He wasn't really trying to rah, 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 anything like that. Even the other three to four guys. Now, note, the black dude was outnumbered. Even other dudes that was, in a sense, with them or near them, they weren't even trying to do anything either, right? They were just like, man, this is whatever. They, In a sense, they were just there because she was running her mouth. And again, I want to re reiterate this again. You have a lot of women out here like this in society where they feel that they can say and just run their mouth. They feel that they can try to get into a guy's face because notice multiple times she tried to get into this man's face. Multiple times she tried to get into this man's face. Even at one point in time, she was even going to try to spit directly at him, but her spit just basically dribbled down her lip and her face. And then she ended up looking stupid. And then she wanted to sit up there and say some more words later on, right? Again, this is how racist she is. This is how racist she is. She decided to do this. For a lot of guys out there, let this be a lesson to you. The moment in time that you got a woman like this, and this is how she acts in public when you're there and she's doing this to a, another guy, it's time for you to just walk away. Let that go because she's going to cause a lot of problems. She's going to cause a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. And again, a lot of women like this don't specifically care. Why? Because it is a man's job to defend her no matter how wrong she is in the conversation, no matter what it is that she is stating, and yada, yada, yada. She was a thousand percent wrong. She was a thousand percent wrong, and she wasn't really getting any type of backup. The most that she got was the dude basically stating, yo, homie, that's, you know, that's my, that's my girl, dog. That's my girl. That was it. Other than that, because, again, he had to sit up there. It was already a losing situation, but he would have lost even more if he didn't put up some type of front. He Again, for, for guys, guys understand exactly what it is. That's exactly what he did. This was a situation that he didn't call for. He did not bring forth. He didn't even want this to take place to happen. He had to deal with it because she was there and because he didn't know how to control her. And this is specifically what a lot of guys refer to when they mean controlling the situation and controlling the woman that you are with. Because if you don't, she will get you put into a body bag at the end of the day. And that is very much the potentiality of what could have took place here. Because if this dude was just recording and he had a secondary phone, he could have just sat up there and made a quick call. And that whole spot would have been aired out. And it would have been her fault because she decided to keep running her mouth antagonizing using all types of slurs and trying to repeatedly get into this dude's face as if she could fight him again she's going to act so bold and so brave because other guys are around her so because of that she feel like she got a safety net and a blanket to both be racist and to be stupid 
This is why I sit up there and state to people, I don't feel bad when I happen to see women get knocked out. I don't because I know how a lot of these women out here decide to act. I know the specific situations that they put the guy that they're with in and what they put the other guy on the opposite end of that in. Like I said before, it's crazy. But again, these are conversations that a lot of people don't want to have that a lot of people don't want to even try to discuss or even break down or give a solution directly to. A few moments later. Now, back to the the main part, right, about that alliance that people like to talk about. This is something that I have um, touched on in a variety of stories, right? And what inevitably ends up happening is that Black people tend to suffer. It doesn't matter if it's the loss of, quote unquote, the neighborhood. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, people being boxed out of situations, you know, talking about, you know, ownership and how things, you know, used to be and so on and so on and so on. And, you know, people encroaching into areas um, or even the loss of life. Again, I've put up a variety of videos that have showcased how you have certain groups out here that like to target uh, go after uh, quote unquote black people and, and all these other types of things. But the other specific thing that I want to speak on is the fact that the guy, I, I'm not sure if he was able to look at the dude and specifically tell, but he was like, yo, you're, you're Jamaican, right? And this is what I try to tell a lot of people. When it deals with black Americans, people have a lot of hatred, a lot of uh, loathing and all of these, you know, negative, weird feelings when it deals with us, right? But when it deals with other people who are from other areas, they don't, in a sense, tend to get that same type of level of hatred, of of loathing, you know, and all of these other negative things. Once people can realize that somebody is not Black American, they treat them differently. And I've seen this time and time and time again. Like it's it's a very very interesting thing, right? And as some of the videos that I've pointed out to you guys before, even on a second channel, you have people that have honestly stated that they masquerade as black Americans because it is easier to, you know, try to camouflage or to fit in versus being who it is that they naturally are and where it is that they naturally come from. Like I said, for me, it's a little bit weird. It, it doesn't make any sense. I would feel that a lot of people coming from other areas should embrace their culture, um, want to openly express their culture and how proud of they are about their culture versus trying to, it's not even a simulation, um, you know, just, just trying to chameleon their way through a lot of things. But then once they decide to make it, it's, oh yeah, we're here. Look at this. And I'm waving my flag and all this other type of stuff. Like, again, it's, it's, it's quite crazy. People are completely fine and dandy cosplaying as black Americans. But when it's time to actually fight uh, or when it's time to actually celebrate, you actually see the true colors of, you know, who a lot of people are. So I hope a lot of people actually caught that part, because this is something that you will more than likely see a lot more of um, because you have a lot of people coming from all over the place, especially, let's say, like in places in like New York and whatnot where you got a lot of people that's coming directly over from Africa, leaving wherever they were from and coming over to the United States, quote unquote, for uh, a better opportunity versus where it is that they came from. And uh, again, it's it's something. It It is something. But uh, like I told people before, you got to be very cautious and be very careful with the individuals that you associate with uh, when it is that you are out and about because you never know who it is that you're going to run into or the situation that people may try to pull you into. Because again, I'm just going to state that I feel like she was really trying to antagonize the situation in order for something to, uh, to in order for something to happen so that there would be a reverse reaction. Right. Because, again, that's what she was looking for. She was using all of these different types of words to try to set off this dude to the point where he was going to do something that was going to cause a chain reaction. So, again, you got a lot of women out here. I'm just going to go back again for a lot of guys out there. You have a lot of women out there that are born of chaos. They are deep within chaos, and this is what they want to do. They do nothing but lay waste no matter where it is that they go, and that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to get two birds with one stone at the end of the day, right? And uh, 
outside of that, for a lot of uh, quote unquote black American dudes, just to let you know, uh, you better be very careful with the people that you decide to mess around with, that you decide that you want to uh, sleep with and or have kids with, because very easily um, you could run into one of these women here and she'll decide at the uh, drop of a hat that this is what she want to start, how she want to start talking to you. She she wants she want to start getting real mouthy. She want to start using a whole bunch of words that she don't got no business using. But it's way too late. You're in way too deep. You made the wrong decision. Now you got to be with that for like 18 years. Good luck. Good luck. Like I said, I'm trying to <laughs> wrap this in and, and, and put as many you know warnings or things that make sense. Uh, you know to to try to alleviate people from you know a lifetime of pain because obviously enough it seems that. That's all that black people like is nothing but pain. You know, and for whatever reason, black people don't seem to learn from whatever pain that is inflicted upon them. So I guess a lot of people out there needs to get inflicted with even more pain so that they can come to an understanding of no means no. Do not go past go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> or as TLC would uh, used to say, don't go chasing waterfalls. Uh, please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you are used to.